Okay, the big ship is a demo for the uh, latest version of the Scorpion engine, uh, 2023 Experimental. Um, what it demonstrates is how we can have a massive actor, um, as well as an actor that's appearing to go behind the foreground without uh, that much of a performance hit. So we're actually running this on Amiga 500 settings, and as you can see, it's um, running a uh, nice smooth 50 frames a second. So there's a whole bunch of tricks involved and I'll go through all of them. Uh, starting with, uh, there's on the ship itself, we have this new maskless blitter mode. So normally when you blit, it does what, it uses a cookie cutter mask. So it can basically blit the object without destroying what's in the background. With maskless, we just blit it without caring what's in the black background. We're just going to completely overwrite it. Um, and we can get away with that in this instance because we have a blank background. There's no background here at all. We actually just use the sprite parallax to, um, to fill it in. So there's a bit of uh, detail and variety. But because we don't actually have anything on the map, we can blit maskless without um, destroying anything behind it. If we did have some background detail on the map, we just need to be careful that our ship doesn't ever overlap with it. Um, the mast is a sprite and a separate object. Uh, that's just to reduce the overall size of the ship. So, um, you know, it's 256 by 64 instead of you know, like 256 by 128 is probably what it would be if we had the mast on top of it. Um, so in addition to that um, maskless blit, we also have the ability to disable clearing. So what that basically does is it tells it not to restore the background after the object is moved. Um, again, we can get away with that for a couple of different reasons. One is because, as we've already mentioned, we don't have any background detail on that part of the map. Um, the other thing I need to mention is if we actually edit the um, if we edit the image of the ship, we've added a little bit of a buffer around the ship on all the sides. And I'll just show you what that looks like. So if we zoom in, we can see that there's a gap at the top and the bottom, and the left and the right. And what that means is that when the ship is moving, it's, uh, that buffer allows it to overwrite its own pixels as it moves. Um, now, it's a little bit um, uh, hard to explain. But basically, the buffer size you need will need to match the speed that it moves at. So since the ship moves at less than one pixel a frame, I've only really added one pixel here. If it was moving two pixels a frame, I would need to add at least uh, two pixels on all of the edges. Uh, the other thing that's worth mentioning is that normally Scorpion will automatically crop to edges to save memory when it um, when it compiles, it doesn't do it with maskless images, and that's because we need that gap around the image for um, for clearing up its own pixels as it moves left or right or up or down. Okay, so that is um, that's two of the tricks. So that's the maskless rendering and the uh, the disabling clearing uh, but there's one more trick um, because the ship goes behind the background uh, sorry behind the foreground um, foreground rendering can be quite slow because it has to blit the blocks again over top of the actor um, but we don't actually have a foreground layer in this uh, we're using another new trick called um, the draw, uh, draw Clip Bottom. So what we're doing is by saying 
by setting the draw clip bottom to three, it means that the bottom three tiles of this map, it won't draw any actors on them, it will just crop them. So that way it appears that, visually it appears that we're going behind the water, but in actuality it's not even drawing the bottom of the ship, the part of the ship, or the part of the character that would be behind the water. So the advantage of doing it this way over having a foreground layer is um, it's we're not even drawing the part below the waterline and then drawing over top of it like we were used to have to do with this mode or with this option it just simply isn't even drawing the bottom of the ship or drawing the bottom of the character when it goes underneath the waterline. Okay, um, hopefully that um, all made sense. Um, feel free to leave any questions in the comments.